Welcome into your weekend message. It is the weekend. All right. Coming up for you. Let's see what you can expect. This message does start October 10th, but it's a timeless message. So whenever you are receiving this message, that's when you're supposed to get it. This is energy that will happen this weekend or is coming towards you this weekend. Okay. I will be putting percent on the shorts. Okay, guys. So you can also know what is going on coming towards you individually for the weekend okay guys all right um i am open up for personal readings they are zoom readings okay they are done once a week um everything you need to know is down below is email and the camera is optional on zoom oh excuse me okay i have spiritual hiccups honey i'm tapping into your energy all right so you know um also make sure that you are subscribed to your area's only placements love tarot okay hold on guys they want me to burn a little bit of sage hold on one second all right, guys, okay, um, if you don't know already, I am your Shaman Empress, a.k.a. the Shaman Hummingbird, here for you, baby, okay? So let's jump into this thing. Let's see what is going on with you guys. Okay, all right. Again, these are general. The energy is flowing and will fluctuate back and forth between you and your person, so please only take what is for you, Empress. Ooh, okay. Um, and what is simply not. Somebody here sees you as the Empress, okay? Um, whatever's happening here can't be happening physically and or spiritually. This King of Wands. Ooh, honey, this person, somebody here got feelings for you. They do. Now, somebody here wants to, somebody here is like, they could want to apologize to you about something. A king of candles, but maybe they're blocked or you're not talking to them. The, honey, this person here has went from the king of pentacles to the king of potions because they ain't any feeling. Now, for some of you guys, you do have um two people in your energy, a king of potions and a king of candles. Okay, because you pull in an empress energy, but you got them on block. Honey, they ain't any feelings about this block. Okay, they ain't any feelings about this block. All right, messages for the collective. Let's get this. Messages for the collective, please. All my beautiful universe and holy spirits. Messages for the collective. All right, for their weekend message, what can they expect this weekend for the weekend? Oh, the six of lightning. Oh, you got two cards. Oh, and the queen of lightning. Yeah. Now, for some of you guys, somebody here is cutting this. Uh, you cut this off and has moved on. Is what's going on here? What's going on? Oh, the nine of lightning. Yep, and somebody here is nervous. Yep, manifesting and the eight of pentacles. Someone here is realizing that you that you're moving on. They're scared about this. Um, but they are somebody here has realized that you manifested this, like you're actually moving on. Some of you guys, we do see your spirit guides and your spirit teams here guiding you to do this. Okay. They're, they're like, I mean, they could be, yep, they are a seven of lightning. So here they come sneaking back in. I don't know if this person is, this is giving me like an epiphany, an uh, aha moment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They just showed me a deck they wanted me to use. What's this here? Yep, the three of potions. Yeah. Now, this is what, now somebody here, it's like they want to connect with you. Somebody here out of nowhere, here they come. Yep. And you, and you, this person, somebody here knows that you have decided that this isn't going to work, that you're going to move on. You are blocking them. Now, for some of you guys, somebody here is saying you're acting funny. It's the way you're acting. It's the way you're moving. You're moving different. You're not taking their calls as much. You don't have much to say. You are being very cold. You have been very blunt. Take it how it resonates, honey. Um, yep. The seven of lightning, baby. They know you ain't playing, honey. Oh, I like your style. But they know you ain't playing. Somebody here is wondering if it's somebody new you're talking to, but they already know. You have already started a new cycle. Oh, child. Yep, the, the queen of pumpkins. This have put somebody in, like, their feminine energy or something like that. But this is what they realize. Okay, guys. Child. This person is in their feelings. That's exactly what's going on. Hold on, y'all. Oh, yep, the sun core. Something, okay. Something here has been exposed to you from your spirit team about this person. They know this. They may say it different than I'm going to say it. You know, I'm going to speak spiritually. But this is someone here that somebody here feels like they, you have, they want to know what you see. Somebody here is like, it's like they kind of want to ask you. Now, the lightning. 
okay, Gemini energy, you know, how do you see them? How do you view them? Um, you know, why, you know, for you to make the choice to move on the way you did. Because, honey, your game is cold, baby. You cold case. You cut this person clean off. The seven of candles. Sag Teria's energy. You cut this person clean off. Off. We got Aqua Bear here. We got Aqua Arius is here. We got Virgo. We have Libra and we have Leo. Um, we have strong Sectorius um energy here. And Aqua Arius energy here. We have Cap in the building as well in Arius. Someone here also knows that you're you know how to like manifest or something like that. Now to be honest with you, you make this person kind of nervous. Somebody here also could be a, a somebody here knows that you're like a um that you that you can see. Yeah, somebody here could also kind of want you to it's almost like read them. Because and it's like they really want to know like how you see them. Somebody knows it's something that you see in them, see see in them or something that you seen in them. And for some of you guys it is it is. They they know it. Um, they know this is why you ain't fucking with them no more. Now, for others of you guys, this could be someone here that sees that you see very clearly. Like, you see a crystal clear picture about this person. So, you just cut them off and sort of doing you manifesting your money. And it, this makes them nervous. Because this has given you some kind of, like, level up. Or something like that. And it's like they want to kind of like sneak back in there. This is somebody here that kind of wants to like pop up on you as well, though. Um, and for some of you guys, this could be somebody here, to be honest with you, that will that could be using like a friend to help them. Or, you know, being around like a friend. It's like, look, I need, I need you to go somewhere with me. You know what I mean? If they know somewhere you'll be at or know a place that you kind of be around or something just to get like around your energy. But they don't want to be by themselves because they're nervous. <laughs> Someone here don't know like what you going to say, what you going to do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, someone here could feel like if they were somebody, maybe you'll be a little bit more nicer. <laughs> This person is you got this person nervous, but they 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 gotta have a conversation with you and they can't get to you no other way. So if somebody here feels like they gotta bump into you. Um they don't know a move to make. Sheesh. Someone here also thought about they might know where you work at, but they scared to pop up at your job because they don't know. Someone here could also be thinking about popping up your job because you know maybe you won't act up on them, honey. You won't go off. You won't, like, <laughs> somebody here is like, somebody here can know you're like a star seed or something like that as well, or earth angel, but they know that somebody here knows you don't play. I don't know who you are, but you don't take no shit. M, W, and S could be specific. You don't fucking play, and they know that. Somebody here knows once you see something, once something, once God reveals something to you as well with the sun card and the six of swords, once your ancestors, your spirit team show you, um, this could be your intuition. Once you have a gut feeling, you don't, you will cut somebody, you will cut clean off. There's nothing else to say. Enough seen, enough said kind of energy. They know this about you. On a more of a spiritual sense, somebody here knows you tap, you're well tapped in. And it's like they kind of want to have a conversation with you because they just want you to say it straight to them. Um, they is also kind of giving them heads up what other people could be seeing about them. Somebody here trusts your vision, though. And that's also something that I'm getting. But this is somebody here, it's like they have plans on trying to connect with you because they it's something about being somewhere where you are or they know where you work or they know where you be. They know a cousin's house. They found out where a friend live at. Mm. Yeah, but they, they're scared. They are nervous, but they want, they do want to sneak, honey, but they nervous. They, 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 but they want to do it. Um, someone here could kind of expect you to be a little feisty. Maybe they already expect you to kind of like, you know, cuss them out. Mm. Child. Okay. Let's get an angel number. If we going to clarify your angel number together. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and clarify some things between you and this person. Okay. So I'm seeing seven, six, seven, nine. 
Yeah. Okay. Seven, six, seven, nine. Let's do that together on here on the channel. And then we're going to clarify some things. I also just saw nine, four, nine. Six and nine is specific here. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on. Oh my gosh. I'm also, I just saw 10, oh, one, one, zero, zero, one. There's all kind of synchronicities the universe is sending you to uh, from this person about this person. Yes, a lot. Your spirit team is sending you a lot of information. Um, we have seven six seven nine. It's a sign that your angels are encouraging you to take a leap of faith and start something new. They may guide you towards a new beginning. Oh my gosh! And that's exactly what happened. And I, this person here, it's like. It's like, damn, is this something I did? Yup. What did I do? Is this something I said? But I know that it's something. It's like the way you see them now. Let's see what your ancestors um is showing you. For some of you guys, they're showing me the spirit guide uh, deck. So we're going to use it. Yep. A pet founder and authentic. Though so somebody here also uh, could have told you to walk away because this person was lying. Yep. They were. They were lying. Yep. Action and authentic. <laughs> so they told you to move. Somebody here, they were lying. They were being sneaky about something. Are we going to find out what that is? Now, someone here also... Now, I got to say something. This could be somebody here that was hot in the fact that they were engaged. Yup. Yeah. They were engaged. I don't know if they were, like, separated from this person. That's also something I'm picking up, y'all, for some of you guys. Okay. Yeah, because the queen and the uh, king of pumpkins is also a fiance. Hubby, wifey, energy. Mm. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, let's see. Singer. Partnership. Yep. Yeah. I can't, I can't make that. For some of you guys, they showed you this. This person it was in a partnership. This is somebody here that was engaged for some of y'all. What the hell? They were engaged. Yep, and they were being sneaky. Someone here is 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 is, is, is to be married. They they already had made a promise. This is also like a verbal promise to be somebody else, and that's why they were protecting you from this person. Yep. Oh my gosh. Um, give me something else on that. Six of Swords energy. God has spoken to you directly about this person. Dad had, could have specifically showed you something. God don't play about you, baby. God himself could have spoke to you. Yep, Four of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Um, this is also your ancestors knowing that you see you were going to be hurt. You're going to be devastated. Yep. Eight of cups. Cause to be honest, this is somebody here that did they plan to walk away or they was going to have to walk. Yep. The king of uh, cups in reverse and the queen of cups. This is somebody here that could have made you feel like I was going to have something, have a relationship, but they were going to uh, have, they were going to have to walk away. Yep. They were seven of pentacles. And you could have been investing all your time and all your energy in that? Uh-uh. Hold on, y'all. Wait a minute. What's cards? Okay. All right. These ones. Okay. What else is going on here? Mm-hmm. Yep. Trap. Trap and try on. See, the plan was to get you all stuck. In. Somebody here wanted to trap you. Oh, sorry. Spiritual hiccups. Hold on. So they was going to trap you being a sad piece while they get married. Ciao, bass. Shut the... Okay, yeah. That's what they were going to do. Oh, my gosh. Wait a minute, y'all. Yes, trap, learn, and blind. That's what you didn't see, but you you could have learned that. Some of you guys could have figured this out because your ancestors let you know this. Or something like that. Yes, we have scheduled commitment. Yeah. And it... Death. Confinement. And this is somebody here was like to get you stuck on them or something like that. This is somebody here that could only see you like at a certain time anyway. It was going to eventually end, yep. Or they was going to try to control you if you tried to like end it or something. Oh my gosh. Give me something else on the Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords? What is this? 
Aces, the Six of Cups. Yep, this is somebody from your past. They could have been getting karma. They are coming back for confusion. Yeah, somebody here wants to make you stuck. It's like they wanted to be unclear about what was really going on. I, I, that was not it. It's almost like they also want you to say something so they know how to manipulate you. You got to be careful. Yep, two of cups and the five of pentacles. No, that's not it. That's not what was going to happen. I wasn't this. I wasn't that. And they were. They were engaged. They were with somebody. It was a third party. Yep, the queen of pentacles in reverse. That's exactly what it was. Give me something else on this. Stop. Yeah, so they. I'm telling you, this person is going to come back. They're they're trying to trap you twice. So they're going to come back and try this shit again. Yeah, and they're going to try to offer you something. So money or give you something tangible is going to help get you stuck. And they're, they're good at this. They're good at this game. So they played this game before, but they can't get one up on you or something like that. <laughs> what are they nervous about? This is crazy, y'all. You guys, yeah, how much you know. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because you have withdrawal and they're going crazy. Oh my, y'all. Natural disaster, memory, and marriage. They want to know if you know they're married. This is somebody that's already fucking married. I need my bell back, y'all. I need my bell back, my button back. Yeah. It, okay, because you cool. You it's a, you or it's like how somebody here just don't understand how you found that shit out. Yeah, <laughs> introverted evidence. Shit. How the fuck did you find this shit out? And somebody here could feel like, you know, the Queen of Swords really don't like a lot of company. She don't get out a lot. She kind of keeps to herself. So they don't know how they, that's how they, so this is how somebody found out you were spiritual or that you were real good with your intuition and they want to apologize and they want to know, like, they're pissed. They are pissed. And it's like, they want to know how much you know about them. <laughs> So this could be how they figure out that you are, you're, and you're an introvert. And they know this is how they could have also figured out that you're spiritual some kind of way. Or they started looking into it. Child, wait a minute, y'all. I can't. I love y'all. I done dropped them cards. Okay, what's this right here? Mm. Yup, they didn't know that. Two of Swords. Oh my gosh. Yep, the ace of one and the queen of ones. Now they are like mad because so, this person is a fucking trip. Because they feel like you could be somebody new and you're supposed to be fucking them. They really feel like this. Yep, the eight of swords. Because how the fuck did you get away from them? And they're coming back to get you. Yep, the ten of cups in reverse. And this is somebody here that will try to break your happenings up with somebody else. Who do y'all be fucking with? Where y'all meeting these people at? Because I need to know. I really need to know. Oh my gosh, give me something on give me something here on the um Queen of Swords. Yep, they gonna try to this person's gonna try to bully you, child, but they feel like it's good news. Or this is the good news that this person's coming back, but they're gonna try to bully you. Yep, and make child somebody here feel like they can, they got a strategy, they're gonna make you do a perseverance. Yeah, and their strategy is giving you something. Money or making sure you're good or some shit. And they've been crying about you, child. What the f Give me something else. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Give me something else on the Queen of Lightning. The Sun card in reverse. I told you. The Devil card in reverse. So they're going to try to act like they're not toxic. And this is somebody here. It's like they're trying to get information. Somebody here is like reverse psychology. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's what they're trying to use. Yep, the Two of Cups in reverse. And make it seem like, you know, it's not, it's not what you think. It's not. Or something like that. Give me something on the Queen of Pentacles. And they're going to come back trying to act innocent as hell, but they sneaky as shit. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Oh, my gosh. The Six of Cups in reverse and the Hermit in reverse. Yep, they took bad advice, too, from somebody. And this is somebody here. It's like they could have tried that. They, yep, they did. They took the bad advice to play this game or some shit like that. Yep, the Hierophant in reverse. To make you feel like, yep, the, and what is this? Yep, the, that's what I thought. The Ten of Cups in reverse. They took a bad advice for somebody. And this could be um somebody here that is also 
you know, they could have talked to somebody that is spiritual or some shit like that, but they're into like the darker energy. Yeah. Or they do shit in like a darker form. They're not in their light at all. Hold on, y'all, because I cannot tonight. This is crazy. Hold on. Oh, oh, they said not these. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. We got love here. Child, look at this. A meeting. And we have cheerful. And this person here got feelings for you. And we have the courthouse. This is now for some of you guys. This is somebody. Oh, they eloped. Yep, they do. They eloped. Somebody here also told this person that they the person that they were marrying or where they were going, that's the per, that's their person. You should marry them. You need to just keep doing what you're doing. Stay focused. You're engaged. Get married. And they did. That's exactly what it is. What else is here? Give me something else. They want me to use this deck on this Queen of Pentacles energy. And they fucking did. They manifested this too. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? With the Queen of Pentacles. Self-care, yep. So they started doing them. Now, someone here also sees, like, the way you take care of yourself. Yep, I knew it. You're an empath star seed. Period. I knew it. Some of you guys are star seeds. You're empaths. They know this shit. They know you're an introvert looking like a goddamn snack, honey. Damn, you look good. And they're jealous. Oh, my gosh. This person. <laughs> oh, shit. What else is going on here? Mm. What is this? Sometimes I need help. Back to the basics. Now, this is someone here that is like, you know, it's like... I, you know, maybe they haven't took advice in a long time, but whatever advice they took, you whatever help they took, it got them like back to the basics of whatever the fuck this is with you, honey. I mean, they fucked up. Yeah, memories. They all they do is think about you. I told you back to the basics. Memories of you. Okay, and this is somebody here that wants to spread the love. Somebody here is like, let's just start over. Let's just go back. Let's just, you know, yep. And they've been sleeping on it. They've been thinking about you and shit before they go to sleep and shit. They've been sleeping on it. It's, you've been on this person's brain. I just heard, I got love on the brain. That's Rihanna. I'm, I'm, I can't catch it though. All right. What's the, I'm saying, yeah, that's Rihanna. All right. What's the written message here? Child, give me the written message, please. Oh my gosh. Jealousy. They're jealous. Because somebody here is going to have the opportunity to have you. But they took uh, advice and they think you are so fucking smart and tapped in. And you have like um, like spiritual knowledge. And they want you to let the past go. That's what they want to tell you. And they are hoping that you will uh, listen to them because you do feel like um, somebody here feel like they married the wrong person. <laughs> they knew they did though. Because it's like also the universe could have been... Could have sent them a sign about you, like, or you their way. Um, I don't know if any of you guys ever watched that movie, Six Days and Seven Nights. They're showing me a, a scene in there where she was married. She was going to get married to this person. They were engaged. And it's like right before they were to get married, she bumped into her soulmate or her twin flame. And they had a thing. And, uh, and he ended up letting her go. But she couldn't stay in the marriage. She told the man, if 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 it really was supposed to be what it was, and we were supposed to be in love, then I wouldn't have had what I had with this person. So you you changed this person by this experience, and it's like them being so sure of you made them know that they they couldn't or they shouldn't stay in a certain connection, a certain marriage. But they did, yup. But they did. And they end up, they could have talked to somebody about it. And this could have been a family or something. And they told them to do it. Nah, you just need to do it. You know, that's why you don't, a lot of people don't understand, like, spiritual. Everybody don't have, like, you know, certain spiritual connections. A certain level, whatever kind of spiritual connection, these other people may have never experienced it. 
So they end up giving this person bad advice because you were you were their person. And they knew it, they felt it, felt it, and they didn't go with their gut. Yeah. So it looks like, so in that movie, it's like at the end of the day, because of the experience that she experienced, even though he ended up coming back and getting her too. And this is how, so this person plans on sneaking back. That's what, also something I'm getting. But she couldn't go back to her other relationship. She just couldn't. And he ended up like coming back to her. I hope I hope y'all are following me. I hope I, I hope I'm making sense. To get her because he knew they 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 were in love. And he didn't have anybody, he just had like a little Jezebel or whatever. But she was the one that was engaged. And he wanted to like you know, he was still, his man was still, like, playing with, with, with outside women or some shit. So he was going to still stay in a marriage that he was able to be with outside women. But when he met her, he didn't want no outside women anymore. It's like, he tried to let her go. So basically, the movie, like, at the end, she was, she came to him. So, like, what we're doing, like, you know, they got stranded or something together. Well, anyway, they fell in love. And she was like, so what we're doing, are we together? We're not together. You know, what is this? And he was like, no, nah, let's just keep things, things. This is too simple. This is complicated. You know, you're supposed to get married. Let's just do it. So she walked out. But she ended up breaking the marriage off because she knew that they didn't have what they had in that short time they spent together. And she was okay with just being single, but she knew she couldn't be married to the person she was married to. And then he tried to go back to like his old Jezebel, but that didn't work because they were in love. And he went back and he got her. Something around this is very similar to your situation. Okay. And it was like, um, I forget. It was something about, they're opposites, but opposites attract. They were like total opposite. So y'all could be opposites. That's what they're showing me right now. And he was taking her back. I think he was like a pilot or something. It's called Six Days, Seven Nights. He was taking her back for business and she wasn't supposed to. And something happened like with the weather or something. They were stranded for like six days and seven nights. And it was like they were they fell in love with each other. <laughs> Honest communication. Yep. Divine timing. I told God. Showed this person something. That's exactly what this is in you as well. And that's exactly what happened to them about the a healing kind of connection. I told you, and you're not going to see this person come back and rekindle something with you. That's exactly what this is. Now, how this resonates with you, you got to put that in there because that's exactly what's going on here. Yep, manifesting the one. Somebody here has already, they've already manifested you. They already run it. Imagine being engaged to somebody in different circumstances have you run across your real fucking person. That's what happened with you. And then they still, they. but in your case, this person still married this person based off advice. Family. And this person here could have had like their partner have, have their family talk to this person. Like, oh, you're just, I heard cold feet. Oh, you're just getting cold feet or something like that. Nah, this was real fucking love here. <laughs> Shit, this is wild as fuck. Damn. Um, child, let's get you some universal messages, child. Somebody here could be from the suburbs. We have J and N. Someone here could be from New Jersey. Yep, Crown or Re. Yep, God has God told this person, and they still listen to somebody. He physical touches this person, love language. If y'all share, if y'all had sex, this kind of sex. Oh my gosh, this could be Kendalooney. We have L and we have the Six Choir. Yep, the Six Choir miracles. The Six Choir showed this person. It was miraculous. I just heard, and they went against that. We have S. Yeah, solar storm. Yes! This is like your twin flame or your soulmate or some shit like that. The solar star. Yeah! So this was Kendall Looney sex. You woke this person up to spirituality so you know that. Or you helped open. You did. They're fucking... Hold on. Yes! Oh my gosh. You did. Your third eye. And that's another way how they how they knew. <laughs> Damn. 
Oh, man. But this room dealing with this, you know, energies here and you, is they just didn't listen to, like, their spirit. Okay. They're showing me this deck they want me to use. Let's go ahead and get it done, honey, because, woo. Oh, child, we got clean up town. Now they're coming to clean up some shit. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, they're coming to clean out something. We got Eclipse. Um, a powerful energy shit before something here is eclipsed forever. Or you're like forever eclipsed out their life. Yeah, God is, but we're, we'll lead you clean up time. <laughs> they did not know that this would lend them, like, y'all would end up here. Like this with each other. But it's like, that's how they feel. Yeah, the signs are already with you. Some of you guys already feel this. Look at this shit. Transition to the spirit, honey. It's a, you spoke to this person's spirit, baby. You are connected to their spirit. <laughs> and they were going to do this, marry somebody that they, they thought being in this marriage to this person, maybe there was money or something involved too. Somebody here could be st stable because the Queen of Pentacles is stable. Was And they could and they were going to still be able to sleep and fuck other people. And that was going to be a marriage. That's, they thought that was going to be a dope marriage. I can be with this person. We make money together. I can fuck other people. Cool. We got, I'm married. I'm, this is my person. And it's not. It was their best situation they came across and they were going to marry it. That's exactly what it was. And here they come. A past returns for a time. And you came along like you were supposed to and shut all that shit down. What's the sun moon rising? Some of you guys got like a pink hair towel you use or a pink bonnet or something you use for your head. Something with pink in it. And this, if this person sees you with anybody, they will be jealous as hell. Or if you had a, another situation... Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs to this message. Aries. We have Cancerian. We also have, oh, Cap. We have Gemin. Show the self and Aqua Bear. Child. Now, in your case, this person has fucked up and eloped. This could be also somebody here. If this person didn't elope, they're still in an engagement with this other person. They could have a set date for the courthouse. Somebody here has already, they just showed me, somebody here has their marriage licenses. Mm. This person has. When I tell you they fucked up, they really fucked up. They're, they're actually crying. Somebody here be holding a pets and crying when they think about you and shit. They could be like petting their dog. Their dog is picking up on their emotions. <laughs> Child, this I love you all. Do you expect somebody. You're it's like the least you expected. You're not gonna see it. They're popping up. Cause they have to talk to you. They have to talk to you. I love you all. I hope this helps you out more than one way. If I resonate with you in any way, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you hit that bell. Make sure you hit all so you're tapped in and notified when your messages are ready for you guys. Stay dope. I'll catch you in your next video upload. I'll share name one.